Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Hasbro Pulse Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus figure. Now what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to do some comparisons with him and some of the other figures that have shared the same mould previously. And again, with him being a shattered glass figure, we will, of course, see how he displays with some more figures from the same toy line. Now, again, I need to thank Hasbro Pulse because that's who I pre-ordered this with. And as you can see, they got him out to me pretty quickly, to be honest. I'm going to say nice and safely, but I can't because, well, it's not too bad. But I would be fibbing because you could clearly see by the box that it has been slightly damaged and forced in. And this is, of course, maybe down to the fact that we have no window. But I also think due to this enormous space, which they're just sorry for the reflection, the glare there, it just doesn't need to be. As we can see, this is the original owner of the mould. And this is how big he is compared to that box. So all of this is pretty much wasted space. So, yes, they're doing their thing on one hand for the environment and get rid of the plastic windows. Even though this is plastic in the inside, I can see it's tied in by plastic ties, but they're also using far too much cardboard and they just don't really need to. Which, anyway, that's nothing that's detracting away from the figure. This is just something that I've noticed. Now, in all honesty, I can't wait to see this figure. I'm completely, I don't know why I'm so fond of the shattered glass um, toy line. I suppose it's because I started collecting Botcon figures years and years ago. And of course, this is come from there really hasn't it i just love the idea of it i know it's been an idea and a concept that's been used in many other franchises but with this i just think it works i'm just so impressed with this um as we open this well before we do we can see we've got of course i suppose a combined mode and we've got of course the transformation process of the cab as well i'm opening from the bottom because it's easier to do so and that's just reminded me actually before we do so let's have a quick look at some of the artwork on here because that is stunning that is brilliant there's the shattered glass part there of course and then this is i suppose a zoom the main robot and then a zoomed in part there as well with the shattered glass emblem anyway there's the instructions we've got the tiny figure in all of that space all of the accessories huge sword bit this looks exactly the same as what come with laser prime and scourge and then we've got i suppose the accessories that we're used to having and even some more there so what i need to do is set him free from there and i'll be right back with you for some first impressions okay then so i've set him free let's do some first impressions straight off and again i'm already blown away by this figure it's amazing i love the fact they've gone with of course the evil the skull head and the display the other thing that was wrapped up in fact let's have a look at the accessories the other things that were wrapped up so we have his standard head we've got the two blasters we've got the large gun blaster we've got the matrix but of course the shattered glass version we already know that this is two accessories in one because it's exactly the same just a different color scheme to laser prime we've got the huge instructions and of course because this was from pulse you can see it says pulse there you've got the exclusive cover reflective cover of the continuation of the shattered glass comic stories by idw i suppose the only interesting thing is that obviously this was number one and this came out after we had blaster which was number two so back to some first impressions and as i say i think this guy just looks brilliant um the translucent red there looks amazing the head sculpt is fantastic we know of course because we've seen this mold a couple of times we've got full shoulder rotation we've got this a bit more where you can take it out to the side the bicep flexion we've got the wrist swivel we've got we've got waist i can't remember on this one yeah we've got waist to some degree we've got the hips out to the side to the front clicking on the ratchets ankle knees and tilt and rock um, and of course this is the trailer and the cab together we've got a lovely tampographed autobot logo there um, again the color scheme on this is just really really working uh, it looks like we've got some lovely nice reflective silver there for the front of the cab everything's just looking super super good to be honest um, and again 
it's it's just a great color scheme that i think works really well so what we're going to do because it's quite a big figure and there's quite a few things to do we're going to split this up we're going to have a look at the cab first and foremost in both modes then we're going to have a look at the combined truck in um and they say with and without the accessories and then we'll come back again for the final time with him in his robot mode with and with and without his accessories see how he displays and see how he compares so lots to get through today and let's go straight into seeing what the smaller cab looks like by itself okay then we're back and as you can see we've gone to i suppose phase one so we're going to have a quick look at the smaller cab and this will make you laugh and i completely am honest and own everything when i do these videos although i still own two other ultra magnuses from pretty much the same toy line i was still shocked and stunned that how much of a parts form it was all of these pieces came off um yes that does mean i'm incredibly guilty and have never transformed them so that's why i thank you guys uh for you know with this channel because it's given me the opportunity to explore and enjoy figures that i didn't realize were as good as this so we've got the cab here and the cab is brilliant the head sculpt is fantastic um yes he looks a little bit chunky um but of course this is mainly you're not going to get many people displaying him with this particular cab it's going to be the combined mode that's why when i was going the articulation i wasn't 100 percent sure of the waist swivel which of course we do have but because i'd never transformed the other ones i couldn't say for sure everything else is the same of course you've got the bicep flexion um this is of course turned around as well also as i mentioned in the other video all of the transformation processes are going to be separately uploaded so as not to spoil it for people if they don't want to see it the other thing i've had to do though is just fold out the heel sprue because it wasn't needed when it was in the other mode now as i say yeah crazily enough uh, there was the two legs which were these parts here there was of course um two i suppose arm gauntlets forearm gauntlets there was the two shoulder stacks which came off and then there was a huge over part over the chest which folded all the way over again it's in full detail in separate videos now the interesting thing as well to this is of course this cab is completely different to your normal optimus prime cab in fact it's a little bit smaller and of course as you can see it's nowhere near as chunky completely different design at the back it's not too bad um, again even though i've just said i'd be very surprised to find people displaying unless they've got multiples um is in this particular cab mode now you can as well if you want to have this right down at the bottom i just chose to put it up there so it's a little bit more out of the way shall we say so this is what he looks like when he's not got all his armor on what we're going to do now then we're going to come back in a second he's going to be in just the small cab version and then i'm going to show you him combined into the full trailer mode as well uh, but i'm sure you'll agree he looks good again it's all to do with this translucent red windows to be honest i think it just makes it look really really good i suppose let's show you this we can have his accessories as well he can carry them around um even though they may look a little bit oversized for him we can put these you can't put these in his shoulders but what you can do is you can pop them in the top we're gonna have to go this way around you can pop them in the five millimeter ports on the top of his shoulders like this um again you can just really power up a load of these figures i say this a lot in all my videos to be honest and i do like the fact that you can do this you can take all of the weapons the abundance of them that they are you can mess around with them you can combine them um why is that not going in there it's probably because it's brand new there we go yeah so you can pretty much put most of his weapons and accessories in even the small mode like that in honesty we've of course got the matrix as well I don't think that'd fit in there. I don't think it will actually, um, because it just folds down. That's where the head comes from. But as you can see, the cab itself is it's still good enough to display by itself. But I just won't imagine many people will be doing it. Right, let's come back and have a look at the cab in his actual cab mode. Right then, so here he is in his cab, as in the actual truck mode. And this, I suppose, is the weakest of all of the modes. But again, this is probably because it's going to be combined with all of this to make the trailer and the transport. Because again, you've got visible hands, and I suppose you can say that they are visible feet. However, if you did want to display it in this, 
it's you probably want to display just like that of course the smokestacks aren't even on the side um there's good detail in the grill and on the silver etc the wheels serve their purpose they go round and round etc um and yeah there's i suppose again it depends if you're having it as a toy and you're going to play with it then again it's brilliant because you can take hold of these weapons you can pop them in the top you've got a choice of where you want to play with these or put them but i don't think that many kids to be honest are going to be buying these i think it's going to be mainly adults um just purely for the nostalgia and perhaps the thing but you know i never might i might be wrong but either way i'm just showing you a few different ways that of course you can then buy or display and use these um i suppose that's it that's the best thing about it it is all fun um and it's exactly that it is still a toy but as you can see it's not the greatest little cab by itself um transformation process is quite quite intricate i suppose again all loaded up in separate videos uh, this does slide backwards and forwards but there's not really much more to say about this cab as you can see so we're going to come back now he's going to be with the full transporter and let's see how that looks right then so here he is in his fully i suppose combined up again transport trailer and it's not too bad it's okay um clearly for me you can probably tell that the way that this is going to be displayed is in his fully combined robot mode in a second but this isn't too bad again it is a very much a parts former you can pretty much make out where everything's all folded and clipped along um, i suppose the good thing again is with the amount of accessories that you've got you can attach these and make it that little bit more interesting so we can pop these either side at the front like that you might have to bear with me because of course this is a brand new toy and um, there's if any they might not go in there's a few places that you can connect all these you can connect them there you can pop the large blaster in the top here as well that's it it's slotted through you can also connect these at the back there if you don't want too many weapons at the front so this means as well that if you've got any fossilizers battle masters blast effects anything like that you can of course pop these all in now it's all held together pretty well you can see all underneath um and yeah again you know i don't know what more there is to sort of say all the wheels go round, etc the slightly annoying thing for me is of course the smokestacks are tucked all the way on the inside i don't know if they could have rectified that in any way at all probably not in all honesty and they're also saying that you can get this you can fold this down and then you could slot this into that hole there i'm just going to rest it in and not push it all the way through um but again so at least if you're displaying in this mode you can have all of his accessories on him at any one particular point and again as i pointed out in the other mode you could if you wanted to as well still attach these on here and then get another load of weapons as well and still attach them all in fact funnily enough let's just have a go because i've got the other ultra magnuses right below us so let's take off two more of these and see yeah you can go completely crazy with these if you wanted to and indeed i think that's what the main idea would be at the moment of i know it is with legacy um of course to combine and use all the weapons so let's see how this looks now <sighs> I still think that looks really good actually so there you go you can power it all up that's made it much more appealing for me in all honesty never mind putting the cars and other vehicles on top of it now it looks really powered up but that's only again if you've got all of the figures or if you again you'd have to use ultra magnus ones you can use anything which has got the five millimeter port but i think that's where i'm going to wrap this part up so there's one more thing to do come back with him in his fully combined robot mode and we'll do the comparisons between some of the other Ultra Magnuses and indeed his original G1 self and some shattered glass figures as well. So right back to the beginning, pretty much how he looked when we took him out of the box. And again, definitely, definitely, this is how I'm going to be displaying him. This is how he does look completely stunning. Now, as I say, at the moment, I've still kept his skull head on. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to take that off. It does pop straight off. You can see it's on a ball and socket. And we can indeed pop the normal Ultra Magnus. I haven't put this on yet, obviously. Head. Wow. Let's have a go at this whoa there you go so it's tough the first time you ever do it let's confess to that but yeah 
that's even a great head sculpt as well, isn't it? It just really, really works. So let's get the rest of his accessories on him. So let's take hold of the side launches, pop them there. They're going to fit in. They should do. They've not done that before either. You can have these lower down as well if you wanted by the looks of it on the forearms. Um, let's pop this in. Oh, you see, I suppose this is the only downfall with using brand 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 new toys but i like it to be brand new i don't want to be as i say playing with it i want it at first impressions to be exactly that we've got the large gun now the general consensus with my other magnus figures is to put this in that hand however we've now of course got the bonus added huge fold out sword and uh, i suppose it's like an energy on gauntlet and shield as well isn't it so to be honest no i'm just going to keep it together for now i'm just going to keep it together and display like that. I'm just going to turn it out to the side just so you can see, I suppose, how he looks in different angles. I'm definitely going to be getting a turntable soon anyway, so let's just stand him up. He does stand by himself really well. You can see how everything's pretty much wrapped all around it. It is chunky, it is robust. You do get the feel that this is, I suppose, a leader class figure. There's Blitzwing, who was another leader class figure, and although he's robust, etc and chunky he is not as big as you can see as this figure um at all great figure uh, but a totally different i suppose style and class i'm just going to move this out of the way now what i'm going to do although of course this isn't the shattered glass version this is the original but there you go that'll surprise you just how big unless you know generation one just how big the original generation one figure is and it is a brilliant homage to it Pretty, um, for those people who didn't know as well, they pretty much use the same idea. There's the cab at the back of the trailer, but the trailer is just one piece rather than all the pieces that that went into. But there's the original one. Let's take him out of the way. And as I've already admitted, here's some other Ultra Magnuses that I'm very guilty of never transforming. So we've got the normal Siege version there. Um, and I think that's probably the same as... Now, maybe the um, Kingdom one's different even. It must be. And then we've got the Netflix Siege version as well. So I do actually think, yeah, that the Kingdom one's got an even different... Yeah, the different colour scheme to it as well. But there they all are standing together. They do all look great. I can't even pick my favourite, to be honest. I'm very partial to Shattered Glass, obviously. Um, but I, I liked the Netflix cartoon. I liked it all. Oh, there's more blasters here course there is there's more blasters with the netflix one perhaps that's what's missing they've swapped the sword for them right one more set of comparisons and displays well this is more display rather than comparison and that's with some other shattered glass figures so to hand we've got blaster one of the newer ones and then we've got optimus prime as well now these are obviously both classed as voyager class so if i just move these over and make space for Blair, who is at the moment, oh, and little gold bug obviously is a tiny one. Let's pop him in as well. So there is Blair. Is he going to stand? Yes, he is. And then can I sneak little gold bug at the end? Just about. So there you go. That's that's a good little Autobot, evil Autobot cast of shattered glass figures that we've got so far there is of course ratchet and then i imagine there's going to be some more as well so there's probably some more i forgot about but that's the ones i've got to hand to show you how they display and in my opinion again love shattered glass so i was already going to like this figure really impressed with the actual magnus figure and i've actually had a play with it and seen how it works um, again quick reminder that it's going to be about three or four different transformation process videos so you can just watch the bits that you want or the bits that interest you or indeed if the bits that might you know give you any assistance but in the meantime let me know what you think of him have you already got him are you going to be purchasing him and are you excited if they're going to release any more information on more shattered glass figures thanks for watching everybody take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe